Um, hi everyone, this is L. Christian Villarreal of Dabao North State College, a BSIT student. In this video tutorial, I will share to you my knowledge about spanning trees by Borovka's algorithm. Uh, I hope you will enjoy and learn in this video. Spanning trees are composed of nodes. In this tutorial, we have 8 nodes. A, B, C, D, E, F, J, and H. Each nodes are connected to the other nodes. And every edge has corresponding values. In this case, we have to connect each nodes to the other nodes. Remember, in connecting nodes, find the cheapest or the lowest minimum edge value. Loop through every node and select the minimum edge value. Let's start with the node A. A to B, we have 8. A to D, we have 4. A to F, we have 2. The minimum edge value is 2. Next, we have node B. B to C, we have 14. B to A, we have 22. B to D, we have 6. The minimum age value is 6. Node C. C to B, we have 14. C to A, we have 11. C to D, we have 26. The minimum age value is 11. Node G. G to F, we have 10. G to D, 5. G to A, we have 25. G to H, we have 27. So, the cheapest minimum age value is 5. Now, we have 3 components. A to F, B, D, and G, and C, E, and H. What we're going to do now is we have to connect these components to the other components. Again, we have to look the cheapest minimum value. Let's try to connect component A and F to component B, D, and G. First, node A to B, we have 8. A to D, we have 4. F to D, we have 16. And F to J, we have 10. So the minimum age value is 4. Next, node C to B, 14, C to D, 26, A to B, we have 22, E to D, we have 3, E to G, we have 25, and H to J, we have 27, H to D, we have 25. The minimum age value is 3. So, these components are now connected. That's the final output when they are connected to the other nodes. We have A to F, 2, A to D, 4, D to B, 6, D to G, 5, D to A, 3, A to C, 11, A to H, 20. And we have to add those components. The total minimum value is 51. 